Welcome back to our series about Storius, the writing application for macOS and iOS. In this video, we're going to talk about the macOS version, and we're going to specifically we're going to talk about formatting options, about how you format your text, and uh, we're going to talk about style sheets as well. Very important aspect of writing uh, going forward when it comes to exporting your documents. Keep style sheets in mind. So formatting, by that we mean what does the font of your document look like? So the, the options are more or less the same or identical to pages and word. And if you're familiar with, with uh, spacing and font properties and margins and tabs, you, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So before we begin, there's all these little red underlines here, which is of course spell checking. And in my case, I have a British spell checker employed here, and uh, this is Latin dummy text. So that's not something that that's going to look nice. So we can, uh, in fact, switch that on or off. So uh, this is done by right clicking anywhere inside the text and heading over to spelling and grammar. And then we have these, uh, these three options here. Uh, ticked currently are check spelling with typing and correct spelling automatically. So this is what, um, what frequently messes with your words while you type and mash the keyboard and Mac OS thinks, oh, you probably mean this. And you think, no, that's not what I mean at all. But uh, hey, one of those things, thanks for the offer. So you can switch that on and off here. And, and you can also sw switch off the check spelling while typing. And if you do that, all the red underlines go away. Now, this is important to know where that is here because uh, often this is found under the Mac OS preferences under the keyboard properties and uh, Stories is kind enough to expose that inside the, the project. So that's, that's very nice. So I'm using the manuscript which is set in Courier 12 point, both for the chapter headings as well as for the section text. And you can change that, it's no problem, by literally marking the text that you'd like to change, maybe this one here, and then either uh, using any of these shortcuts here, you can make this word bold, or you can make it italic, or you can make it bold and italic at the same time. And um, that is something you can do. You can even change the font of a single word, like, you know, make it cracked if you want but i would be very careful applying those types of changes unless it's something where you just make a word bold or italic that's something that an e-reader will understand because uh, it depends on how much you know about e-readers um, they usually apply their own fonts and their own formatting so you don't really have an option there but for print ready pdfs or for just pdf files that you share the font is more or less well i say embedded it's kind of a pdf is more or less a series of images that creates whatever you see on this page right now so for pdfs it will work but if you're exporting this into something like uh, like an ebook format like the dot mobi format for the amazon kindle or for epub for various other e-readers and screen readers then this is likely not going to be taken across so careful with that command z will always undo whatever you've done but things like uh, just making things uh, bold making things bold or italic this is something that is formatting that's being taken across uh, you can also change the color of course and you can you can change uh, whole sections you know if you want something like section one to appear uh, in the center then this is also something that will be taken across with e-readers but again careful if you're doing that uh, because you want to apply this to like more than one passage in the document so for example if you're thinking well the chapter headline uh, this is emulating this is set by the way in courier 12 point both for the chapter heading as for the section text because it emulates a like good old royale typewriter and i really like that it's good i find that very charming and i usually leave my formatting applied as is but you may say actually i would like my chapter headings to be a lot bigger so perhaps make it bold and then uh, apply that you know make it 20 here for example or type in a number you can do it that way, but I would advise against it, strongly advise against it, because now that you've done this for chapter one, what happens when you go to chapter two? Well, chapter two still looks like that, so would you have to mark this again and then apply this formatting again? No, 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 it's very error prone and of course, you know, very time consuming. So let's go back to chapter one and first of all, undo what we've just done here. So let's uh, bring that back to here. 
uh, which is uh, the last thing we did. And the thing that Stories does much like Word and Pages do, they apply a style sheet to your document. So that's why it's important to mark this as a chapter title and mark this as section text. And then you can just change the formatting of that whole section. So if you change the formatting for, for the chapter title, then uh, all the chapters will be changed in the same style. And that's kind of what you want, really. So to do that, we can uh, scroll down and we, we see the styles that are currently available in this document here. A gray triangle here, by the way, means that uh, this is the formatting that's, that's kind of defined in this style. Uh, whereas when that is um, red, like if I do this, then you can see the triangle turns red and that means this formatting is currently not what is applied in the style. So it's kind of, it uses the style and it uses additional formatting which you see up here. So whereas the end of that only uses the chapter formatting and this in the middle here uses the chapter formatting plus bold. So this is something to be aware of, this kind of a good, uh, good indication of if you've kind of accidentally formatted something inside a document that you didn't mean to do. So say you had come up with something that's very nice and you say, well, actually, you know, this is what I'd like all my chapter headings to look like. But sadly, I've forgotten to mark the number one here. And, you know, obviously this, this is not applied to chapter two. Then you can literally park your cursor in here and, and stories will tell you that this is currently applying the chapter title plus 20 and bold. If you want that to be applied across all your chapter titles, you can just click on that little red triangle here and say redefine style from selection. And then what stories will do is it'll apply this and use this as the new style. So if we now head over to chapter two, we can see that that's also applied like that. But there's several other things that you can apply here. And uh, while these are kind of uh, more page formatting options that I'll leave you to explore on your own, you can also either tap into here and then use this triangle and head over to edit style, or you can head over to the format tab up here and select style, edit current style. Those are two options that get you into the same menu, which looks like this. And uh, here you can either, you can change the style name, you can say what it's based on, what the next style is that you're gonna apply. So after chapter heading, the idea is that you, if, uh, if you hit return, then uh, I suppose you're gonna start with the uh, section text. So you can change that here. And you can also see what the outline level of this is. We're gonna talk about that in a moment. Now here you can apply a new um, font, for example, and you can apply a new size and a new typeface and all that. And um, you can apply all kinds of other things that we're gonna look into in a moment with the uh, formatting of the section text. And then you click return and then you see this. So that's just a, an example. I mean, not that this is a great font, but it kind of explains the, the principle of it. So uh, in the section text, it's the same thing. There's this one thing that Stories does, so every uh, paragraph is indented. If you don't want that, or if you want to have a little bit of spacing in between these things, you can do that just as well. You can just park your cursor into that section. And this time I'm just gonna select this from over here, say edit style, and uh, perhaps I'm gonna leave courier, but I don't like the first line indent. So I'm gonna set that to zero. And the before and after paragraph, I'm gonna set that to something like three point. And when I do that and click OK, then this is applied across my entire document. And you can see that there's now a little bit of a gap in between each paragraph, which uh, you know kind of makes this a little bit more readable, especially on printed versions. And then of course, if I don't like the typewriter font here, once again, I could either do uh, go for that little triangle or you go style, edit, current style and then you say perhaps uh, instead of courier i'm gonna i'm gonna use i don't know times oops times yes there we go times let's use that and then your document is formatted slightly differently so this is how you do that and the same applies for the uh, for the header and for the footer of course that you can you can just find the footer by tapping somewhere at the bottom here and then you find the footer put in anything you want and uh, this is a this is a page number you can either put that in the in the top or at the bottom uh, by just simply using the insert option you can also change the way the page numbers are counted uh, slightly further at the bottom here 
under page numbers that's right here at the use default value or you can start at a value of your like I'm 47 for example and then uh, all pages are starting at number 47 and they're numbered from then forth I think I'm just gonna undo all my changes here <laughs> until it goes back to uh, to that I'm going to talk about the outline levels that we discussed. So if I park my cursor again in the chapter headline and I go back to format, style, edit current style, then I can see that the current outline level is heading one. And that's important for later on because it builds, stories will build the table of contents for either your printed novels or for your uh, e-reader documents according to these headings. So a chapter title currently has the heading of one, which means this is kind of a root, uh, well, kind of a, a, a top level heading here under which we have sections. So a section has, let's just have a look at that uh, by parking our cursor into that and heading over to format, style, edit current style. Uh, we can see that this outline level is the body text. But there may be a way for you to, if you wanted to have another outline beyond that, so you may find that uh, a chapter title is good, but you may also have certain headings inside a chapter. You can also do that. And uh, you can say, I'm just gonna insert something here and call it uh, subheading. So that's a style that's currently not defined. So let's do that. Uh, let's stick with this formatting here. And in fact, first of all, apply the chapter title to it. So that gives us another chapter title. It's not quite what we want, but let's, let's work on this by uh, heading over and saying format style, edit current style. And we're gonna call this uh, subtitle perhaps, or subheading, let's call it subheading. And I leave the formatting exactly as it is, but I'm gonna leave the outline level uh, and switch it to heading two. So this now creates a, a secondary kind of, you know, thing, a secondary kind of heading. And perhaps I'm also gonna um, change this from, from all caps to just uh, capitalized words. And I would also like the typeface to be, um, well, I was gonna, so it's oblique the same as uh, italic I think it is so let's just let's just do that and there we go this this is what I'd like it to look like okay so um, this now defines the chapter followed by the subheading followed by the section text over here so that's kind of how that works and uh, this also the other thing I didn't do uh, is format style edit current style it is currently just uh, beginning on the next page so I don't really want that I'm gonna I'm gonna have paragraph starts on a new page I'm gonna disable that and I'm gonna keep it uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep it that way so if I do that then my subheading begins in the same chapter on the same page something to keep in mind so it makes kind of navigating your whole outline um, history here a little bit easier and it's it's one of those things you can fiddle around with the formatting as much as you like just wanted you to know that this feature is available i think that's all about formatting i can say for now we're going to talk more about formatting when we're going to create a pdf a print ready pdf or a pdf edition of your ebook in another video a little bit later um, for now i think i'm going to wrap this up and in the next video we're going to talk about saving your document and uh, saving versions of your document so stay tuned for that mm -hmm.